All right, today I have the Whirlpool dishwasher and I'm gonna try the sensor mode to see if how well it cleans the dishes. All right, so go, let's go ahead and take a look at the dishes inside of the Whirlpool dishwasher. I'm gonna take a look at the top rack. Now the dishes are not too dirty right here. However, we have some dried up yogurt on this particular cup right here. So I'm just gonna go place that. That's Greek yogurt, if you're just wondering. That's Greek yogurt, very tasty, very good. All right, uh, the rest of the dishes, they look pretty clean as far as they don't have any stuck on grime and dirt and food on there. All right, so I'm not gonna check the rest of these. Maybe um, I'm gonna go down to this the lower rack to check out these right here. Now we have that pot, the infamous pot that I need to scrub down. I'm not gonna take a look at that and waste your time with that. I need to scrub it down with some sort of uh, abrasive uh, brush and, or maybe like baking soda to clean the inside of that. But anyway, I'm gonna check out this right here. Here's a pot, you have some fried egg stuck on there. We're gonna see if the center mode can clean this well. Now this also needs some scrubbing down because there's some burnt in oil on there uh, that probably won't come out with a dishwasher. So I'm gonna to have to take some baking soda and uh, a, a scouring brush or something like that to get that out. But I'm focusing in on the egg See if the sensor mode can get off that egg. You see it's pretty much burnt on there, right there. Let's see if it gets it off. So I'm gonna place that down in there. As far as the forks and utensils, they are pretty much standard dirty. Uh, check out some of the plates. They have some uh, crusted bean on there with some cheese. See if they can come over here. Right here, here is a, a plate right here with some crusted on, stuck on cheese. And we're gonna see if the sensor mode can get that off. Now I'm gonna go over the sensor mode in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. All the dishes are in there, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and load this in there. Go ahead and put my Cascade Platinum. These are probably the best uh, dishwasher pods you can get right here. They work really well. As you see, it's tri-color right here. You have blue, purple, and green, as well as the pack on the back, all right? Or should I call it a backpack? I don't know. You guys don't know funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and po put this in here. Put that in here, close the compartment, make sure there's some rinse aid in there as um, it's supposed to be. Open it up, make sure it's still in there. It's still in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here and I'm gonna go ahead and do the settings. Now, like I said, I'm gonna do sensor mode. All right, soak and clean. I did the soak and clean already. All right, now I'm gonna go to sensor mode. All right, sensor mode, it's two hours and 55 minutes. That's almost three hours, all right? But that's just, that's with the heat dry. If I turn the heat dry off, it's only two hours, 30 minutes. And I may do that. I'm not sure if I, I'm gonna do heat dry. I'm, I'm gonna try it with the heat off because it's nighttime. Uh, the, 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 you know, I'm not gonna unload it till tomorrow. I'm gonna see how well the dishes get dry or if they're able to dry at all without the heat. All right, we'll see that, we'll test it out. I'm gonna do Sandy Rinse though, however. Sandy Rinse, which brings it all the way back up to three hours and 21 minutes, as well as high temperature wash, which doesn't bring up the time, but it will bring high temperature wash, which I'm guessing that will get rid of the stuck on cheese and grime, but we'll, we'll check and see if that works. All right, so sensor mode, it's gonna be three hours and 21 minutes. Sandy rinse that sanitizes the dishes as well as high temperature. All right, so let's check this out and see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and put the start button, four, three, two, let's see what happens. All right, as you, as you can see, the cup came clean with the yogurt, no yogurt in there, as you can see, perfectly clean with that, did a good job. Uh, the pan, as I said, there's some burnt on grease, it happens with stainless steel, I'm gonna have to take some scrub and get this off. I'm probably gonna use baking soda to get this off right here. As you can see, it's it's on there. But other than that, the pan came clean, no sight of the egg at all, no crusted space. I'm gonna clean that up in a second though. Right here, the plate with the stuck on cheese is clean. No cheese whatsoever on the plate. As far as the pot, I'm gonna have to scrub that too with some baking soda. Uh, one thing with this this type of pod right here, it stains really easily. Uh, I'm gonna scrub that out. But so the setting actually did work. Sensor setting with the uh, with the features that I had on there, the heated dry was not necessary. I did it overnight, so 
The dishes were able to dry without the heated setting. Really, really nice. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.